Hi, this is Dr. Fatih Parut, veterinary virologist, and I will explain how we can produce a vaccine against coronavirus in 15 days. First, we need to explain two concepts, virus and antibody. This is coronavirus. It has two main structures, outer capsid and inner genetical material, which is RNA in this case. This is the S-glycoprotein, in other words spike, with which virus holds on the cell. Then get into it and multiplies to thousands, released to the blood and carried to other cells and tissues. If we can break this mechanism, we win the fight. The best and natural solution to this is antibodies. Antibodies hold on the spikes, which we call opsonization, and kill them directly with complement activation or let them phagocytize or at least mechanically block them to enter the cell. Our body has the ability to produce antibodies even against cobra toxin, but of course we don't have enough time until we produce enough amount of antibodies. The same situation is also valid in the viruses, coronavirus this time. If your immune system is not ready and you don't have enough antibodies in your blood, before you produce antibodies, virus propagates, makes illness, and if your immune system is weak, slow, because of the age or other diseases, it may kill you. Therefore, we need to alert our immune system at least 14 to 21 days before virus entry to make our antibodies ready and kill the virus before it multiplies. We use vaccines for this early recognition. We give the weakened, attenuated virus or killed, inactivated virus or genetically engineered virus or virus parts into the body to let the immune system produce antibodies and become ready. The thing is, conventional attenuation process needs at least 80 to 100 cell culture passages and it may take years to complete. Genetical engineering of the vaccine virus does also take years. However, in this epidemic, we need a much faster approach. Therefore, if we use the technique that I will explain, we can produce a vaccine in 15 days. First step, isolate the virus from a sick person, which is already done. Second, propagate it in human originated cell culture, like human embryonic lung fibroblast. To explain this process, this is a cell culture flask it has one layer of cells in it. If you inject your virus in this flask and give the time like 3 to 5 days, it will propagate, kill the cells in it, and in this perinatant, you will have billions of virus. Count the alive virus particles using plaque test, transfer this perinatant to another tube. Now we have billions of alive viruses in this tube. Let's radiate it. In this approach, because RNA is sensitive to radiation, we aim to find the radiation amount which destroys RNA of the virus but keep the outer capsid and spikes as is. After this process, to be sure that we protected the capsid, antigenic part of the virus, two methods can be used. Using 2D and 3D electron microscopes, we can get picture of the radiated virus and check whether we could keep 3D confirmation of the virus. We can, we should also use antigen ELISA or another antibody antigen reactions based test to check whether our virus still can bind to antibodies in chemical level. We should remember that. If somehow radiation also affects the virus's outer capsid and ruins 3D confirmation structure of the spike and reduces the immune response, we should try another method like chemicals, like RNAase enzyme, which only destroys RNA but no effect on proteins. Now we have billions of inactivated virus that has the ability to awaken the immune system but no ability to produce illness anymore. Count the alive virus particles again. Since we killed all of them, it should be zero now. Now clarify, filtrate it and make dosage adjustment. Combine it with an adjuvant to increase the half-life of the antigen and to prolong period of excretion from the body and use it as a vaccine. This process, in theory, can be done in 15 days. However, potency and harmlessness tests may take some more time. This vaccine, if it's used at least 14 days prior to the virus exposure, can protect the person from deadly infections and suit the symptoms remarkably. However, this approach is not the final solution because the vaccine has no help in sick people and a very weak effect on people with a weak immune system. Therefore, in the next video, I will explain how we can use this vaccine to cure sick people with the help of monoclonal antibody cocktails.